Hello. Good day to all my Form 4 students. Today we are here to continue on Chapter 6. Acid, Bases and Salts, Part 4. Okay, the subtopic that we are going to discuss today is mainly on the pH value. Okay, so last previous video, we did on how to prepare standard solution. So today we are going to look mainly on calculation on pH value for both acid and alkali. Alright, now first of all, let's go to the meaning of pH scale. pH scale is a uh, numbers, okay, ranging from 1 to 14. Sorry, 0 to 14. So the number ranging from 0 to 14, which mixes acid and alkali. Meaning you can get the value of acid and alkali. That gives you the total number of 14. Okay. So it measures the degree of acidity and alkalinity. Okay. Alkalinity in an aqueous solution. So that is what we call by pH scale. So the scale ranges from 0 to 14 depending if it's acid or alkali and it uh, measures the degree of how acid or how alkaline a certain substance is. Okay, now what is measured by each pH value? So each pH value, since I say the word acid and alkali, pH value actually measures the amount of hydrogen ion, which is for acid, and amount of hydroxide ion for alkali. Okay, so this shows how much of hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion is in a certain acid or alkali. Okay, now this video is going to be on all calculation. So I hope you have your calculators ready and you know how to deal with a function called logs. Logs and empty logs. Okay, so I hope you have your calculator ready while watching this video. Alright, okay, so let's go to, we are going to, now since we say that pH scale, okay, talks about the degree of acidity and alkalinity of a certain substance, I am going to teach you on how to find a pH value for acid and alkali. Okay, how to measure pH value from a concentration ranging from acid and alkali. So, my advice is please get your calculators ready while watching this video. Alright, now let's look at one example on how to find, looking at the concentration, how to find the acidity. Acidity in the form of pH value of a certain given acid with a certain concentration. For instance, look at this question. Okay, so hydrochloric acid has the concentration of 0.00125 mole per dm cube. So this is actually concentration. Okay, concentration of the acid. Now you are supposed to find the pH value for this acid. So the formula to find the pH value is the pH, now, the degree of hydrogen, okay, so pH value is negative log and this is the concentration of hydrogen ion. Okay, now, so how are you supposed to write is, since this is 0 0.00125, so you write negative log 1.25 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Okay, so negative 3 you will get the value, okay? So since this is going to be a short video, I have no time to calculate in front of you. So we know that, I hope you calculate this for me and we know that the pH value is 2.9. Okay, so true enough, 2.9. So if you know that acid, the pH value of acid ranges from 0 to 7, true enough, the pH value is 2.9. So certainly this is a, Acid. So 2.9 is considered a strong acid. Also, 
Alright? Okay, now, so let's go to, so I hope you can understand. Huh? So, teacher repeat, 0 0.00125. Okay, so this is the concentration given. Using the concentration, you have to find the pH value of the acid. Alright, okay, now so pH negative log, this is the formula. Negative log and the concentration of the hydrogen ion given. Okay, so hydrogen ion now. Hydrochloric acid and has hydrogen ion and chloride ion. So please remember that the pH value comes from, that's why you have to look here, pH value is calculated from the concentration of hydrogen ion when we are talking about acid, right? Okay, so, so this is the, so negative log hydrogen, the concentration of hydrogen ion, then you just change it into this in this form, okay, then you can press your calculator and get this figure, okay, so make sure it matches because if we are looking for acid, the uh, if you are on right track, your value will be lesser than 7. So please remember that because we are talking about acid. So you know basically acid has pH lower than 7. So if you get any pH lower ranging from 0 to 6.9, you know that that is actually acid already. So you are on a correct track. So let's look at another question. Okay, so let's look at another question. Nitric acid has the concentration of 0 0.02 mole per dm cube. 0 0.02 mole per dm cube. So using the same formula, okay, using the same formula, you can find pH is equals to negative log the concentration of hydrogen ion where you get negative log 2 times 10 to the power of negative 2. Okay, so change this whole thing into indices and after pressing the calculator, you will get the pH of 1.7. Okay, so you get the pH of 1.7. Okay, so I hope, I hope you, you are calculating while watching teacher's video huh? so that you will know you can correct track. Alright, now let's go to, so that was actually on how to find the concentration. Now, let's go to how if it is reverse. Meaning, you are already given the pH value. Now, you have to calculate the concentration. So, using the same formula. Okay, now look at one example. Huh? So, pH value is given 2.5. That means, obviously, please remember, obviously, we are trying to find the pH value, sorry, the concentration of a acid. Right? Why? Because the pH value is 2.5. So, calculate the concentration of hydrogen ion. Basically, we are talking about acid. Alright? Now, if, okay, so this is the first original formula you are using. Huh? So, pH value is negative log concentration of hydrogen ion. Now, concentration of hydrogen ion is what you are trying to find now. Alright? Now, so pH value is already given. Now your work is to find the concentration of hydrogen ion. Reverse. Alright. So when you reverse this, it will become concentration of hydrogen ion is anti-log. Okay. I know, I hope you know how to press this in your scientific calculator. Huh? Okay. So anti-log of negative 2.5. So if you press your calculator, you will get this figure. Okay. So please work this out until you get this figure times 10 to the power of negative 3 mole per dm cube. Okay, so this is the concentration of acid which has the pH value of 2.5. So I hope you can work this out. So have your calculator ready. Work this out until you get this figure. Okay, so please watch my videos again until you get to you know how to calculate in a using a correct track. Alright, now let's go to uh, al uh, alkaline. Okay, so let's go to alkaline. Before this teacher was teaching you on how to find the pH value of acid. So, we still have to find the pH value of alkaline. Why? Because the scale of pH scale is made up of acidity and alkalinity. Alright, okay. Now, so the formula for you to find the uh, pH value of alkali is written like this. 
Okay, POH is equals to negative log hydroxide ion. Okay, so this is actually concentration when it's written like this. So you know that you're working with concentration of hydroxide ion. Now let's look at one example of how to find. Okay, so how to find the um, concentration, uh, not example. Let's look at how to find the um, relationship between pH and pOH. Okay, so all you have to do is when you're given the concentration of hydrogen ion, very easy, when you're given the concentration of hydrogen ion, use the same technique like how you used your hydroxide ion for your hydrogen ion to find for hydroxide ion. No doubt about it. Alright, now, so let's go to how to find what is the relationship between the pH and pOH. So, as what I told you, pH scale ranges from 0 to 14. Okay, 0 to 14 and pH scale is the combination of high, the acidity and alkalinity. Okay, it shows the acidity and the alkalinity. Now, you know that pOH that and pH, that means when you combine pH and pOH, you are supposed to get total of 14. Okay, so you are supposed to get total of 14. For instance, huh, let's look at this example. What is the pH and pOH value? What is the pH and pOH value of 0 0.05 mole of sodium hydroxide? Okay, so sodium hydroxide. So you know that, okay, this is this is what teacher mean by one example. Huh? So since we don't have enough time uh, board, enough space in the board, teacher combine this example. Alright, okay, so pOH, please look at this. Okay, so pOH of sodium hydroxide, you use the same formula, you will end up with, you when you calculate this, you end up with 1.30. Okay, so 1.30. So that is not the final answer. Now I'm asking for, so this is the pOH value. Now let's go to pH value. Okay, so this is what you are familiar with. Okay, so now when you are familiar with pH value, we know that pH value for alkali is actually more than 7. So you might be thinking, you might be wondering, teacher, if hydroxide ion usually, and alkali usually supposed to have the pH value more than 7, why am I getting 1.30? So this is actually basically combination. So that is why teacher wanted to tell you that whatever you calculated here is actually this. POH is actually this and now you are supposed to find the pH value for alkali which is usually more than 7. Alright, so now if you look at the question, you are dealing with alkali. So basically, conceptually you know that the pH value is supposed to be, I repeat, pH value is supposed to be more than 14. Alright, so you get pH plus pH plus pOH will sum up to 14. That is your pH scale, total of pH scale. Alright. Now pOH you get 1.3 equals to 14. So now what is the pH value now? Please remember this is the pH value that you are used to. Okay, since form 1. Now can you get the, the picture? Okay, so meaning that this is the pH value that you are used to when it comes to alkali. As seen, whatever number you get, you don't have to minus with anything. Why? Because pH value for acid, you will eventually get less than 7. But for alkali, we don't teach you pOH. We teach you pH. So in order for you to get the pH, you have to minus 1.3 with 40. Huh? So pH value now is 14 minus 1.3. So equivalent to 12.7. So pH is 12.7. Now this is correct. Why? Because sodium hydroxide is the alkali. So pH is supposed to be more than 7 less than 14.
Okay, so that is how you calculate the pH for alkali. Okay, so can you see that if, the, if you look at it, the relationship between pH and pOH, they are uh, totally vice versa. Okay, so they are totally vice versa, but in order for you to determine the value of pH for alkali, you have to find pOH first using the formula log hydrox, okay, for, uh, log or concentration of the hydroxide ion, then especially for alkali. If you're using for acid, you don't have to minus anything. Please remember that when you're using for acid, you don't have to minus anything. But if you're finding pH value for alkali, find the pOH using this formula, then whatever figure you get, please go to this concept that pOH is not the final answer. You have to minus with 14. Okay, you have to minus with 14 in order to get your pH value. Now, since in this example, your pH value is 12.7, you know that you are on the right track to find the pH value for alkali. Alright? Okay, so I hope you can understand teacher's video of today. Till then, See you in the next part of our video. Thank you for watching.